It is Women's History Month, and East Tennessee has some remarkable women to celebrate. From Dolly Parton to Brenda Peel, we are highlighting true women trailblazers in the volunteer state. Legendary coach Pat Summit set a whole new standard on and off the court. Coach Summit led the Lady Vols from 1974 to 2021. She won eight NCAA championships and became the first college basketball coach to hit 1,000 wins. She died from complications with Alzheimer's disease in June of 2016. Everyone knows and loves the Queen of East Tennessee. Of course, we're talking about the one and only Dolly Parton. She grew up in the Smoky Mountains, and of course, she's the first lady of Dollywood and the founder of the Imagination Library. It's a literacy program that provides free books to children from birth to age five. Brenda Peel was the first black student at the University of Tennessee to receive an undergraduate degree. That was in 1964. Three years after UT desegregated its campus, Peel was born in Knoxville in the 40s and and once she graduated, she became a guidance counselor to help students achieve their dreams. She died in 2022. And Clarice Phelps is a Navy veteran and engineer at Oak Ridge National Lab. She was part of the team credited with discovering the element tense Tennessee. You can find the element, of course, on the periodic table. And that is a quick look at her interview with Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs and her efforts to recruit more people into science. Right now, um, you know, just focusing and working on the research that I'm doing to earn my doctorate. Uh, and then I also want to continue to um, bring science to um, our underserved communities. I want to make sure that everyone is, uh, has access to the same type of things um, and the same experiences that I was able to have. To read more about her work, just head to WBIR.com.